Hey guys, hey guys, what's up? The bus channel here, and today I'm going to show you what I got from I think it was Cambridge, the Cambridge bus rally. So yeah, let's get into it. And I've just found out that I've already got one thing, which was from W H Smith, not the Cambridge rally. So yeah, let's get into it. So so here we have a major bus, as you can see. And it's Luton and District, which is pretty cool. Nice little neat vehicle. Not too sure how much this one cost me, because it's got no price on it. But still, neat vehicle. So yeah, let's get into the next one. Now here we have a Bendy bus, as you can see. But yeah, it's missing the car in the middle. As you can see, but that doesn't matter because I got it quite cheap for a tenner, which was a bargain to be honest. I think wrong with a little bit missing. And here is the other side, if you can see. Maybe not. There we go. So. Yeah, that was uh, Bendy. If you're wondering what his reg is, the Majorette didn't have the reg, but if it focuses in, it is EE02AXV. And the fleet number is 704. Well, it's a Scania. So, yeah. Moving on. So, here we have uh, Mercedes Benz Citaro, like bus driver jo John is. But unfortunately, his vehicle was not there today, Bendy. No why? Weird. Because it was meant to be, so it was another one from that group. But yeah, I got a Citaro. Obviously, John this isn't in this livery, and that was not the one attending today, but it was his Bendy. But yeah, obviously, he's got the first Manchester one. And... Yes, they do do a model of that one, but I haven't got that. I've got the Wilts of Dorset one today. Which, to be honest, was quite a bargain because, yes, I think the price was a uh, tenner. It was quite a good bargain considering it's a Create and Master North Cord one. Um, I think I know why, because as you can see, it's missing its wing mirror. Just leave that one out of the way. As you can see. And yes, I think it's got a bit of paint on its headlight or something, but I don't really care. I've got a good bargain, that all that matters. And if you're wondering what the reg is, if it'll just get in focus, it is HF06 FTP. Fleet number is 170. Wilts of Dorset. So yeah, pretty cool. Just take you around the side of it. I might have to move Bendy out the way. Yeah, pretty neat little vehicle for a tenner. And plus, it didn't have a box. I'll just show you the side if I do this. There we go. Move that there. And now... And now, here we have... A Mercedes-Benz Travago coach in red. As you can see. And uh, no, this one does not have a number plate. Just take you around the coach. Jesus Christ, I have to keep on getting up for this guy. Oh well. Just move that leaflet out of the way, which I'll show you in a second. If you wonder what the number plate is on the back, and I said it don't have one on the front, it just says it's not a proper number plate if it will focus in. Oh, you stupid phone. Hello. Oh, here we go. As you can see, just slightly... It says Travago, so it's not a proper number plate. 
if you guys get what I mean. And uh, just um, zoom that. And show you around the other side. There we go. So I'll just move that one over there. So I know I've done that. So yeah, moving on. Also, guys, I think this one cost about, not that one, that's Sitaro. This one cost £3. Also, guys, this one costs about £3. I just accidentally stopped the video there with the sound button. I wish Apple would remove that feature. It is bloody shite. So, yeah, that cost me £3. And, yeah, let's move on to the minibus. As you can see, here's the minibus. In all of its glory. And, uh, mini, and it says minibus, but I can't make out what the little writing is. If you can help me in the comments, that would be great. But yeah, I can't tell you in this video. So yeah, pretty neat little vehicle. Doors open. Well, back doors open. If I can just do that with holding the camera. If not, I have to pause the video. Oh, here we go. So yeah, back doors open, you can see inside. Kind of. <laughs> So yeah, pretty cool. Close the back doors. And yeah, obviously here's the other side and the front. So yeah, let's reverse that one back in. And move on to the next one. So here we have a Plaxton Premier. Which is pretty neat. I haven't seen one of these. Well, I have seen one, but not in this livery. If you're wondering, that minibus didn't have the red. And that minibus cost £3. I forgot to show you that. So yeah, the reg is on this one, N608 APU, Volvo Plaxton it says. And it's on the route Essex, Scotland, Arctural Express. Weird route. So yeah, I'll take you around the coach. Here's the side. And here's the back. Number plates the same, just in yellow. I wonder if this coach still exists or been scrapped or preserved. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, pretty neat little coach. And the price I paid for this is six quid. So, yeah, let's move this one back. Here we have quite an old one the tin one and that cost me five quid which is surprising very squeaky so yeah here's the front the side and it's continental trailways or something the back number plate is t.1177 probably not a real number plate if you could Please tell me what the make of this coach is because I have no clue because it's an American. And the other side, and here's the front. And it squeaks like hell. And yes, if it'll just focus in, here's the number plate on the front. I'll see if I can zoom in on it. Come on. Okay, you're being stupid then. You're not going to. Fair enough. So yeah, you've obviously seen the number plate, so it don't really matter. So yeah. Moving on. Oh, you could just see it there. T.1177. So yeah, let's move this coach back. And move on to Rootmaster Money Box, which was a bargain in itself cheapest one I've brought today and it cost me 50p for this which was quite good so yeah here's the front of the money box the side the back no number plate obviously the other side of the roof and the bottom so yeah pretty cool neat little money box right there for 50p so yeah moving on to the, the American school bus Looks to be a bluebird to me. So yeah. This one cost me five quid. 
and you don't really tend to see the school bus models at rallies that often and uh, yeah the stop sign does open as you can see if you wonder how I do watch bus 4501 just putting that out there uh, safety line of C2 obviously that's why I got the unboxing idea from and yeah the doors do open fleet number 9852 or the school bus number Please correct me if anyone knows what the number's meant for, whether it's fleet number or just the school bus number. As you can see, it says school bus, and I think that's the weight limit, or how much the bus weighs. Yes, it's how much the bus weighs, guys, and it's CB38453. So, yeah, here's the little mechanisms to close the doors. I can <laughs> find it hard to close these doors so I might have to pause it right I'll pause the video guys and I'll be back so yeah now it's now it's closed but not that well but who cares so yeah here's the front the side the back which the emergency exit door opens just show you that in action there we go, you see inside the school bus model. Just close that. And here's the other side. Obviously, I've showed you the stop sign opening, but I'll do it again. And yeah, bottom and the roof. And I forgot to mention the other some of the others were pullback, which I'll show you in a minute after this one. This is a pullback. As you can see. So yeah, let's move that one there. Get the minibus. Which isn't a pullback, actually. Thought it was. Well, this one is a pullback, but I think it's a bit broken because it's missing a tyre. But I don't really care. So yeah, let's move on to the second to last model. A Cherished bus, which is like the school bus I wanted. Well, exactly the same as the school bus I wanted, but obviously in the Cherished delivery, which is quite cool. And yes... It is a pullback, as you can see, and this door does open, and close that, opens and closes, kind of, and so do these doors here. Just press them in with my finger, guys. There we go. Open and now closed. So yeah, here's the front, the side, the back, the other side, the roof, and this one cost me six quid, and the bottom. So yeah, last model out of its box, and I'll show you the one in its box. Once I've showed the leaflet, I'm going to do an unboxing. So yeah, let's get into it. <laughs> So yeah, so yeah, here's one of the other leaflets, which I have no idea what it's for. Probably not even busting, but I thought I'd show you anyways. If it's not a busting, I'm not going to keep it, but oh well. Moving on. Looks like it's a beer thing, so I'm probably not going to keep it. So yeah, moving on. We have a brochure. I'll show you a picture of Johnny's bus. Ooh, didn't realise there were these things in there as well. <laughs> Because, um, yeah, I put them in there and forgot about them. Johnny's Bus. That is Johnny's Bus. 105 GYA. Fortunately, she was not there today. Weird. Don't know why, but there's a chance I'll see it again. Obviously, yes, that was the maddest one I've been on, this one. Because it bounced like crazy. You threw me off the seat. Yes, this one wasn't here as well. I think it was the same place as the Bendy. I was hoping the Bendy would be there. I wonder if that's Johnny driving it. Maybe. In the photo. Yeah, if you want to screenshot that and... Yeah. Feel free to take a photograph of any of these pictures, guys. Don't mind that. Yeah, why no 5 gy It was unfortunately not there. A.K.A. It is 12,001. The fleet number. Yes, and it is the Scania 2005, 
which is hopefully going to be at Translances, because he said it would. So, yeah, hopefully that one will be there. At least that one's there, because that's the one I wanted to go on. Yeah, most of them was there, except for that one and that one I could see. And, yeah, that was about it. That weren't there. The two from White Rose Bus Group, which was just a bit weird, if I do say so myself. So, yeah, that one was nice right there. I think it was that one. Yes, it was. They're on about putting it into its original livery, if you heard on my video or watched it all the way through, which I don't expect you guys to do because they're that long. So, yeah, if any of you guys do, thanks. So, yeah, moving on. And yes, it is a brochure. Just saying. So, yeah, moving on. We have just a random open daily fit thingy. And down here, I'm not even going to stop the video now because I can't be bothered. <laughs> And down here, I got this off the bus. Can't remember which bus I got it off, but oh well. So yeah. And here we have another one. Exactly the same for some reason. Don't know why I got two. Here we have another thing. And here we have another one. And another leaflet, which I took off a bus. And this magazine, which I got from... WH Risk, and as you can see, stupid me, didn't realise I had one over there. So, yeah, now I've got two. So, yeah, I'm just going to get a thumbnail before we do the unboxing, and I might retake the thumbnail afterwards, don't know. So I'll get one just in case, so yeah, let's get into it. Actually, tell me what, I'll unbox it first, then do the thumbnail. Good idea. So, yeah, back at the unboxing stand now, guys, which is... Basically, me just leaning my phone against my computer. That's all it is. So, yeah. The last model is this old bus, which I don't know the make of. Well, it says Lane National Mark 1 Plus Trailer British Rail C Link 99647 is the number if you're looking for it. So, yeah, here's the front of the box, the side, the back, the other side. Well, the roof, I should say, and the bottom. And, yeah, if you're wondering, I'm going to unbox this now. And it cost me 15 quid, which was the most expensive one today. So, yeah, let's get into it. And now, I know probably some of you are going to have a go at me for unboxing it, because, yeah, sometimes proper collectors say it loses value, but I do not really care, so you can't see the whole model. So yeah, uh, I do keep the boxes if you're wondering, so yeah, I'll pop that to the side. And um, yes, I do keep the plasticky bits as well. Shove them back inside the box. Leave that on top. And here is the bus. Take the bus out first. Keep that plasticky bit. Oh, and the trailer's falling out. So yeah, let's just pop that there so it don't get lost. So here's the bus. And here's the front. The side, the back. I'll do that again. Here's the front, the side, the back. The other side, the roof and the bottom. And yeah, number plate. I am... Um, I'll show you in a minute, actually, once it's on the bed. And yeah. Here we also have a mini trailer. This time I've got one of these little things. And yeah. I'll hitch it up. For you somehow, yeah, that's what it looks like carrying it. I'll show you a bit better on the bed. So, I'll pause the video. So, yeah, here's a better look at it on the bed and zoom in. And Reg is MOD 823B C Link, it's called. So, yeah, here's the bus. With the trailer hitched to it. First time I've got one with your little trailer. Pretty neat little thing. Reg is probably the same. And yeah. As you can see the trailer is hitched to the bus. So yeah, I'll just grab a thumbnail now. So yeah, here's the thumbnail guys. As you can see. I know one of them's in the middle, but oh well, who cares. So yeah. Thanks for watching guys and peace out.